You know, fam, it's 2024, and these PlayStation fanboys are still saying the same things that they have been saying over the past couple years. Xbox Game Pass is terrible for the gaming industry. They have terrible numbers. Every time they produce everything, it's because of Xbox Game Pass's fault. Or one of my absolute favorites that they would just say out of the random blue, they need to focus more on the console, you know? They need to stop focusing on like the fire sticks and the apps and the mobile phones. You know, they need to stop worrying about Game Pass and go back to the consoles because that's where the real money's at. Not realizing that, hey, you know what? Microsoft isn't too worried about the, you know, the console anymore because they already know they lost. They're not worried about that anymore. They're more worried about, hmm, how can we reach a bigger audience like Steam and the mobile market. Oh, I know how. Let's make a subscription service to gain access to all these other areas. I wonder why they're more focused on that than, you know, winning a losing battle that they were never winning in the per first place. It makes you really think why they bought ABK in the first place, hmm? It's not like they came on record and say the reason why we're going to buy ABK in the first place is uh, because of a certain, you know, mobile game called Candy Crush, right? Right now, they're going to forget about it. So, you know what, fam? You ain't hear me about, you know, complaining about the PlayStation fanboys and their, like, well, dumb little take. No, you're here for me to dunk on those takes. So, you know what? Before we dive right into that content, please, please, please make sure to go grab yourself a nice little drink and a nice little snack. We're just going to go ahead and dive right into that content. Bad service thing, right? So, it, they've tried. Guys, yeah. Game Pass has been a thing since, what, 2017? Oh, no, no, that was another guy. His name was Shit Sherlock. First name, no. Yep, it's JTech, and, uh, you know, we all know how this man rolls. Okay, JTech, if I know you pretty well, you're implying that Game Pass is an absolute failure, right? So, JTech, if that's the case, that Game Pass is an absolute failure in this situation, why haven't they gotten rid of it like the Kinect, hmm? You know, they got rid of the Kinect because that was an absolute stinker and nobody wanted it, right? But with Game Pass around, a lot of people want it. Everybody's, you know, subscribing to the service and everybody's enjoying it. And anybody can get access to it versus like a Kinect. So honestly, it's a pretty good idea to keep Game Pass around because A, it generates a lot of money for fucking Microsoft. I mean, for the love of God, go look at fucking the ABK deal and the Bethesda deal. Do you think that was just pulled out of the fucking thick air? No, that came from somewhere like a source of money, like maybe from Microsoft directly or from from game pass who really fucking knows but let's be honest here if you do the calculations based on subscriptions based on what price they uh, charge you per month and then price it by month by then oh trust me they're making a lot of fucking money and the most that they could muster is about what 33 million and that's only if you add all the uh, xbox live accounts that they transition over to game pass right <laughs> Oh, come on, JTEC. Every single company does this. Don't fucking pretend that Xbox is the only one that does this because PlayStation, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon does this with all their subscription tier services and say, hey, investors and potential investors, look how many people we have on our subscription services. We're profitable over here, so please come invest more of your money over here so we can invest it into our stuff. Like, come on, it's basic 101 with this shit. Come on, JTEC. And I don't want any of you motherfuckers in that little podcast over there to think, well, 33 million is not enough. Um, if you had 33 million YouTube memberships on your YouTube channel, would 33 million not be enough for you? There's just there wasn't a big take on this stuff. They, mm -hmm. they just did not meet the numbers that they needed to. Wow, a corporation over projecting their realistic goals and making up these imaginary fucking numbers in their heads, thinking that this is going to be enough for them instead of giving realistic numbers to their well, their investors. It's not like any other company hasn't had any unrealistic goals with selling products, right? Especially with Ubisoft with that Star Wars game, you know, or, you know, PlayStation with Concord. And quite frankly, the developers did not, does not have a, um, you know, outside of like little small developers, um, a lot of them don't have anything favor favorably to say about it. Do you ever listen to the stuff that comes out of your mouth? Because that is some high level class A deluxe bullshit you're talking 
Now, JTech, was this actually from game developers or was this from PlayStation's boss, Jim Ryan, the one that, you know, flew all to like all these countries to stop the ABK deal and mind you, absolutely failed in the wake of doing this. Yeah, I don't think we want to go back down that same path again with Jim Ryan again, knowing how many, you know, notorious lies that man has told. Because crap's right. A lot of the games that they have in there are indie games or smaller indie games yeah. and the casual yeah. market's not paying twenty dollars a month <laughs> wrong oh i didn't know game pass only had indie games on it i mean damn have you guys heard of this indie game called before like south park the fractured but whole have you guys ever heard of this indie game developer called that made this game called payday 2 crime wave edition man that indie game payday 2 is such a such a small great game that nobody's ever heard of before or how about one of my new favorite series yakuza oh man that indie that indie game man it's just so so small and so unappreciative man you guys should go play it whenever you get the chance or how about this small indie you know publisher over here called ea you know where they have all the star war games on here where they have titanfall 2 on here man these indie developers over here are just so small man like i wish game pass had some big developers over here actually you know putting their games on game pass because you know i see so much value oh oh how about this small indie dev publisher over here with their series called resident evil in order for them to get the numbers they need they need more console soul i know people like to think ah oh, well it's not about the consoles anymore it is it, it'll always it is. be about the consoles Futures now, old man. Hey, JTech, you know, the 1980s decided to give you a call. They said they want you back on the front lines with the console war that's going on over there. Consoles are no longer dominating the market as you guys see it right now in your little delusional state over here. Do you know what's dominating the market right now? Mobile and PC. And if you don't believe me on that one, go look at how much the mobile market is raking in from the microtransactions they have on their video game application. So again, JTech, I'm going to ask you once again, did Microsoft buy Activision Blizzard for Call of Duty or did they buy them for Candy Crush? Please tell me, which one is it, JTech? The more consoles you have, the more people will subscribe to those services. Oh! Wait, wait, JTech, if that's the fucking case, then why is half of your guys' player base still on the PlayStation 4? Wouldn't that mean you guys would only technically have 47.4 million? If you divide that by two, it's 23.7 million. Then we look at the consoles that they sold to everybody, which was about 56 million freaking PS5 they sold to us. And if you take the 23.7 memberships that are on there, there's about 32.3 million memberships that haven't been bought yet. So it doesn't equate to, you know, they need to sell more consoles in order to sell more memberships. It, it doesn't add up. Because I'll say this once and I will say it once again. The console market, along with exclusivities, are slowly dying. And Microsoft has already seen the fucking writing on the wall. Why do you think they're going after the mobile market? Why do you think they're going after the PC market so early? I hate to say it, but yes, they're advertising Samsung TVs and Fire Sticks. Nobody is partaking any of that shit. It's only been two months. That is not enough data. We need half a year of data to prove it's even fucking worth continuing doing this or not, JTech. And I doubt you have those numbers. They're just not. They're not. There's yeah. not these massive amount of people that suddenly want to play um, with fire sticks. They just, they just don't. Yeah, and this is coming from the same dude that illegally restreamed the uh, ABK court hearing and that said that uh, Microsoft was going to end up losing this deal with Activision. Yeah, this is the same fucking bloat heart over here that said that. And, and, and understand why. Why when you offer it to billions of people, why aren't millions partaking in it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. that, 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 and that's the that's the main question I keep asking people. 
because people don't find value in it. People like physical more. People said, fuck it, I'm not dealing with Xbox anymore. I'm just going to go to Steam and just buy my games and enjoy them there. There's multiple reasons, JTAC. Not just the fact that, oh, Game Pass is terrible or the service is absolutely terrible. There are multiple fucking reasons why. Uh, Zenimax, but there's all that stuff and... and the uh, ABK, they, they they own everything. They own like a, a half of the industry. Yep. And yet, people still aren't partaking. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. They own half the industry? Oh, I didn't know they owned PlayStation. Oh, I didn't know they owned Nintendo. Oh, I didn't know they owned Ubisoft. Oh, I didn't know they owned Focus Entertainment. Oh, I didn't know they owned Bandai Namco. Oh, I didn't know they owned, I don't fucking know, Sega. Oh, I didn't know they owned NetEase, Koi Tecmo, and the many other fucking publishers and developers out there. Oh man, get, get fucking JTAC out of here. This dude is too fucking stupid to handle a debate the cost is cheap well, it's a great a it's an easy entry I, level fee the holiday the consoles were 349 and 139 but Jay, why aren't people Jay. partaking because i don't know jtech maybe i'd rather buy a steam deck or i'd rather buy a pc where i could play all the playstation games and xbox games and the pc games too and the nintendo games too if i'm really smart about it Gee, I wonder fucking why, JTech. I wonder why Xboxes aren't fucking flying off the shelves or why Playstations aren't just flying off the fucking shelves these days. I wonder fucking why. And the next person who comes on is not any fucking smarter than fucking JTech. Is since Microsoft has absorbed these companies, the quality's dropped. <laughs> You idiots do understand that Fallout 76, the worst, the worst Fallout game I've ever seen in my entire fucking life, released in 2018, right? And then Microsoft bought ZeniMax slash, you know, Bethesda over here in 2021, right? And don't even get me ranting and raving about Call of Duty and Overwatch. Those games became extremely shitty before fucking Microsoft stepped in and say, Hey, we want to buy you guys out. And these PlayStation fanboys wonder why I dunk on them constantly every single week. So when it comes down to it, Jay, when you said, why is it people are not clamoring to the service is not only the games are just not that quality like they were with Bethesda when they were independent. Yeah, no, I don't need to disprove this anymore. This fucking moron over here has no idea what the hell he's talking about at all. You're going to really say Bethesda was better before Microsoft bought them? Really? What world are you living on? People want to own stuff, Mooch. Oh, yeah, because physical is so reliable on PlayStation and Xbox these days. Hey, guys, I got a quick question for you. How's that uh, physical edition of uh, Overwatch doing? No, I'm not talking about Overwatch 2. I'm talking about that Overwatch 1 copy you bought physically. Yeah, tell me how that's going. Can you play the original Overwatch on that one? No, it just auto updates to Overwatch 2. Oof. Yeah, I'm sure people are dying to spend 70 to 100 dollars to only be able to stream that shit through the cloud, right? You know you could download that stuff directly to your console, right, Crap Gamer? And on top of that too, I'm pretty sure people are just clamoring after a long day of work to just straight up pop a disc into, you know, their console and then maybe an after like an hour or two they get sick and tired of the game, they want to get up again, eject a disc, and re rinse and repeat the same shit over and over again. I'm pretty sure they're clamoring for that, Crap Gamer. I mean, isn't that what Google Stadia was? Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That was the, that was yeah. the big problem. So it's like... I swear to God, this must be the podcast of fucking morons. You really think that was the biggest problem that Google Stadia had? Hi, I got Google Stadia free with my YouTube Premium. And let me tell you something. The live streaming on that was the least of the problems of that fucking game, okay? The store was an absolute trash fest. And many, many other things that I could rant on for an hour of why Google Stadia was bad. Not just the streaming service but like the store the games they provided the exclusives that they had there that were this big talking point that they had yeah absolute fucking trash by the time you released gears of war 5 uh you had three million people playing it on game pass and then you never got another update about it 
and people yep. like abandon the game completely. It's like that used to be a top flight franchise. Gee, I wonder why people abandoned the series like they did with Halo 5. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because they gutted everything that wasn't Gears of War in there? Hmm. Hmm. Man, I wonder why they everybody just downloaded the game for free to see how it is and then absolutely abandoned it after a month. Gee, I wonder why, crap gamer. Crap, nobody talks about that, but that's a good point. You get overwhelmed. You're sitting there you're like, oh, I got 350 games in Game Pass. Congrats! Yeah. Which one are you playing? Jesus Christ. We get it. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna go play something, maybe like an RPG or a JRPG. Maybe I'll play some Southport, the Fractured Butthole. No, no, let me go play a, like a, a small indie game to where it's a little bit of Kung Fu. Let me go play some Sifu. Nah, I don't feel like playing that today. You know what? Let me go play some Payday 2 with the boys and go rob a bank with them. You know, that sounds really fun. Nah, the boys are busy with something. You know what? Let me go play some Yakuza. Nah, you know what? I want to go play an old good classic. I want to go play some Doom. Nah, nah, I played that yesterday, man. You know what? Let me go play Vampire Survivors, man. That sounds really fun. But no, no, I've already beaten that game, gotten all the achievements and the unlocks on that one. Nah, I'm just not feeling it. You know what? Let me go play Bolt Gun. Man, I want to go play some 40K, man. I want to go play some of that Warhammer 40K universe. Yeah, you know what? No, no, I'll put that off to another time. Let me go play some sports games. Let me go play UFC fucking 4. Or, you know what? You know what? My friend just popped online. I even talked to him a while. He's a big, you know, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege fan. You know what? Let me go ahead and download it and let's just go play with him. Let's go hang out with the, my friend, man. Because you know what? I haven't talked to this guy in a long time and I just want to hang out with him and catch up on, on things on like how he's doing and all that stuff, even though I really don't like the game, but I really like hanging out with the guy. That's my options on a silver platter directly to me. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's also a customer right now listening to this show or listening later and they're saying, no, no, no. I play the hell out of game pass i love it that's true but you're in that 20 million uh demographic you're in that you're already counted for for microsoft you're not getting they want the people next door to you they want your friends your neighbors your family members oh Oh, somebody get the global Grammy over here for fucking mooch for figuring out what corporations want in this fucking world. Please, somebody come up to the fucking pedestal over here and give mooch his fucking grandstanding ovation over here. Come up here, mooch. Yeah, come on, do it, man. Come get your award for fucking being Captain fucking Obvious. But you know what, fam? Thankfully, that's all the stupid I can handle with the PlayStation fanboys because you know what? This one was a bit of a doozy. And I'm just like thinking to myself, you know what? Me and Mr. Arm over here got to go lay down and go rest up because you know what? I want to get back to editing as soon as possible. So you know what, fam? Thank you very much for watching my content. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave a like and comment in the comment section. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys. And hey, if you truly do enjoy my content and want to support the channel, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to make it to 10K by the end of this year. But anyway, fam, I'll see you guys in the next video, next live stream. Who really knows? See y'all in the next one. Later. Have it, you're like